I so back to Peter Dinklage. I do like um, how they kind of they brought in this kind of Russian mob element to it, which I thought is kind of it's great because like you're you're talking basically about like crony capitalism is like basically like the theme of this movie, mm -hmm. uh, and it's like all right, well here's like the most extreme that you're talking about, and Marla. Marla thinks that what she's doing is fine because at least, like, she's operating inside the legal system. That's her justification. E exactly, but also, like, she she has said, like, she, she said to Roman, like, if you want to beat me, beat me in court. Exactly. Beat me with the law, don't. And it's just like, well, isn't, doesn't that go against your entire philosophy? Of what? Of of basically just like all these rules are put in place to uh, you know keep others poor, and it's just like this guy Roman is doing what you're doing just to the more extreme. Yeah, I don't know. I think she's. I think the point. I think her point about following the rules is that if you're if you just do the right thing all the time, you're never gonna get ahead. I think she embraces the the bureaucracy because she plays that like a game right where, that she's a chess a chess master at and that's that's her hustle and that kind um, of the fact that roman being in um you know being in the russian mob and be you know having these dudes who can basically commit violence for him yeah that uh, it, I have to he, say, he's she's basically saying that like it's not fair that he he's able to do this and like that he has people to, um, you know, commit violence and kind of you, you know he he doesn't ha have to operate within the same legal system that she does. But it's also just like who who are you to say that something is unfair, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's like Tony Soprano. Yeah. You know given his wife a hard time about the fact that he cheated on his wife. Yeah. You know, yeah. which we talked about in our Sopranos episode, but there's this scene where Tony's one of Tony's mistresses calls the house. Yeah. And he somehow she flips out on him obviously yeah. and he somehow turns it around on her. Um, um it's just justification. But I have to say like this movie for for to use something as kind of tried it and 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 cooked uh, an angle as like a mob boss. Yeah, this was like pretty fucking original. And, right, I agree. You know, I agree. Like I, I was like, I was worried at first yeah, exactly. when I saw, it, especially when I saw it, it was Peter Dinklage playing the the mob boss. You know, I I was worried it was gonna move into like the more goofy angle. Yeah, um, yeah, right. Like an analyze this. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. It doesn't really. No, um, no, it was good, man. Peter Dinklage is fucking talented, man. He's great. You he's never watched talented. Game of Thrones. No, but he's I have great. watched Elf. No, I'm just kidding. Elf. Oh, oh yeah, he actually he is. is an he yes, legitimately no, he is, is good in Elf. He is. He is legitimately good in Elf. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, Game of Thrones is like his all time like amazing role yeah. and then they kind of like got rid of his character like he kind of is on the sideline yeah like well they didn't get rid of him but he's on the sideline for like the last couple of seasons for oh. all like the garbage se seasons uh, they're basically saying like because he he uh, Peter Dinklage's character on Game of Thrones is very similar to Mar Marla where it's like he's this chess player and he's also willing to be as cruel as possible and it was kind of like his um his entire you know personality was that he was smart it could outsmart people right and they were kind of saying with Game of Thrones once George R. R. Martin left who was he was the main writer um and they were kind of shifting the focus away from like strategy base to more like, all right, well, now it's about ice zombies and dragons and like it's more fantasy. 
uh, they didn't know what to do with that character anymore. And that's why they, in the last couple of seasons in, of Game of Thrones, like, Peter Dinklage is still there, but, like, he's very much on the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs>